ready? Here we go. It's time to make another celebrity wet. This is Innuendo Bingo. Always good to have Chris Ramsey on the show, and today let's make it a wet one on Innuendo Bingo. It's cold. Get on your computer, on your tablet, on your phone right now, anywhere, any screen that shows the Radio 1 website, you can see Chris Ramsey. <laughs> Chris starts like warming up. Gets <laughs> in the face. He's just in his mouth and he's getting used to the it's temperature. It's cold, you got to acclimatise. Yeah, the water's pretty mouth. cold. <laughs> okay, so a selection of innuendos. Right then, mate. Twice a week. Oh, well, Innuendos all found from you, the Radio 1 listeners. We couldn't do this without you. So if you see anything on TV and you think that would be good for Innuendo Bingo, send them in to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. We'll give you a little mention. Just send me an email. Tell me what time it was on and what they said and what show. Okay, I think we should start with a clip from last week, yeah, uh, which I think Chris will enjoy. In fact, oh, well, both the Chris's will enjoy. It's from John Motson on Match of the Day. Well, Sorry. Even started, he? Sorry, Chris. <laughs> He's heard this one before. Oh, man. Is that why you were whittling out? Mm. John Motson on Match of the Day, and Tottenham player Kyle Norton has had a bit of a nasty accident. And there goes Kyle Norton. That doesn't look too good, does it? Might have just followed through a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Sounds like a messy game, that one. <laughs> Mate. The first one is always the, is the worst, to be honest. Might have just followed through a bit too much. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, ready? I feel like I'm on free willy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, Russ in Bristol, making lunch, watching Bingo for the first time in ages. It's so much better when you watch. And Frankie in Birmingham is watching as well while doing mass revision. We're going back to Friday now, and it's my friend Len Goodman and his new show, Holiday of My Lifetime. Now, this week, Len went on holiday with Fatima Whitbread off of Javelins. <laughs> and the jungle. That's already funny. And the, <laughs> the jungle as well. Severed! Now, Len does like to strike up a bit of a rapport with his guests on the show, but I'm not sure the two of them should be trying this during their time away from home. It seems Fatima can turn her hand to just about anything, but catching crabs can't be that hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to get the tube back wow. after this. The force yeah. is strong today, lads. <laughs> Projectile. Catching crabs can't be that hard. Voice of experience there from Len Goodman. <laughs> Catherine spotted that one. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> OK. Oh, no. Now we're going over to yesterday's Put your money where your mouth is on BBC One. Now, the thing about antique hunters is they really will look anywhere for a bargain. Especially this guy, Eric. Anywhere. So there's less than £20 in it as our competitive pair pull out all the stops in a final frantic round of selling. Eric is next to draw something out of his arsenal. He's <laughs> 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 so good that was uh, oh, Sophie in Plymouth he spotted that one I might start watching them shows now I know <laughs> Tom in Scarborough's watching for the first time on his phone yeah I might watch that Eric is next to draw something out of his arsenal his tin <laughs> shooting box oh okay here we go a bit of class now as we head to Sunday's Downton Abbey on ITV and in this scene Violet is in the middle of grappling with a moral dilemma. When Mrs. Crawley suddenly offers to do something most unwelcome. Are you going to tell the prince? I think I should, don't you? Would you like me to come? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to come? No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> is the no? Is the no answer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. not a deal, love. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. no. <laughs> now we're going over to Call the Council, a new show on BBC One, and you meet all sorts of characters. Now, here's a very helpful man called Morris who is making up a sign for the park. Although I'd hope most dog owners already knew this. 
Here's Morris. Whilst Anita's putting her green fingers to good use in the gardens, Morris's mission is to clean up the mess. We're, we're n knocking up a sign about owners, if your dog's balls are disintegrating, <laughs> take <them> home. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you, Morris. Owners, if your dog's balls are disintegrating, take them home. Take them home at once, <laughs> is the tip there. Andy in Birmingham emailed that one. Thank you, Andy. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. If you see anything on TV. I love this. It's a wet one, says David. And another David says, I'm taking a break from work, especially for this bingo. It's brilliant. It is good today. Now a recent favourite from Otis Dealey on The Gadget Show on Channel 5 next. See, the thing about that show, I really kind of struggled to keep up. I was frantically trying to run all of this through the Urban Dictionary, but I had no idea what he was on about. See if you, um, you, you know. Owners, if your dog's... No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was Morris again. Owners, if your dog's balls are disintegrating, <laughs> take them home. He's doing a cameo on the garden show. It's not... A... <laughs> <laughs> it's the same block. <laughs> Morris is Morris is everywhere. <laughs> oh, that was such a big build-up as well. <laughs> I really messed it up. Anyway, here's here's Otis on the Channel Five Gadget Show. See if you can work this out. I was happier with my Quellcast washer. It's 150 bar of pressure and flow rate of 420 liters per hour were pretty average, but maybe enough to piddle all over Amy's Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Amy. <laughs> Maybe enough to piddle all over Amy's Bosch. This <laughs> is <laughs> wet today. <laughs> so good. Okay, next. Can I, hold on, can I just say the worst bit is the closest cups to it are, are fuller now. Yeah, are they? <laughs> yeah, the closest cups on the floor have got a lot of fodder <laughs> in them. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie in Birmingham's enjoying this while watching uh, and doing maths revision at the same time. Now we're going to BBC Scotland and on the folk music show, Take the Floor, presenter Robbie Shepherd seems to have got a bit distracted while the song was playing. <laughs> it's just a piece of music. I'm sorry, Chris Ramsey. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Back over to the folk. <laughs> <laughs> People love it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. The folk show. Ha <laughs> ha, come on! Look at his cup. Look at how funny he's got. It's my cup. Like I'm sorry, man. What are you doing? I'll take that one if you want. Go on, then. Come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Over to BBC Scotland. <laughs> what? Chris? I'm busy drinking. I was busy drinking. What are you doing? Mouth. I was busy drinking and he spat in my mouth. I'm so sorry. Oh. Right, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going double barrel here, like, you're going down. He's going doubles. <laughs> here we go, come on. Okay, just play the music and I'll join in. <laughs> come on! Oh. Come on. What's wrong with you? Got him. Aye, fine fingering there. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie heard that happen and was quite shocked. Oh, it felt up so much, I didn't think it was going to be good, but it was really good. Aye, fine fingering there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, let's stay north of the border. Well, right on the border, actually. It's a travel documentary all about a visit to Hadrian's Wall and some unexpected benefits of a visit to this historic spot. Hadrian's Wall, reimagined not as a barrier, but a place to meet. 
gays. <laughs> Maybe I'd cut that one short. The place to meet. Gays. Oh. <laughs> but where's the rest of it? Hadrian's Wall. Reimagined not as a barrier, but a place to meet. Gays. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got the long version. <laughs> okay, good. And that was today's chaotic innuendo bingo. Chris, Chris Ramsey, that was incredible. Cheers, brother. Thank wow. you very much. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow. That was brilliant. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. There'll be more bingo Thursday, 1.45. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.